hope my screen is visible i have just started the recording can you confirm if my screen is visible guys good 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 okay today uh, we are uh, going to uh, jump into a new topic okay till yesterday it was the discussion was all about uh, the access modifiers and uh, we have also completed the variable argument methods and we have completed the methods like accessor method and mutator method and we have also completed the concept of encapsulation right so now uh, today uh, the topic is going to be i don't think we need much revision on this so it is a very self explanatory okay let us quickly jump into the latest topic which is instance context instance co instance context in java instance constant okay again there are two types of context in java one is instance context second one is a static context okay, we will understand one by one firstly let me introduce the index context everyone already the intact the instance con context in java is again categorized into three types the instance context java is categorized into three types okay first one is instance variables okay second one is uh, we have instance methods okay third one is instance blocks okay. if we understand this the concept of in, uh, instance con context will be over okay. this uh, uh, i mean uh, so you need to focus here because uh, the, we will understand the exact control flow of the main thread okay in a java program you can see instance variables you can see many methods you can see many blocks but you should be in a position to differentiate between the instance variables between the instance method instance block static method as soon as you look at the program you should be in a in a position to differentiate this uh, entities difference differentiate these elements okay let us understand this one by one let me introduce about the instance variables i have already introduced this but today you are going to see the complete picture about instance variables firstly let us understand about instance variables right if you declare any variables if you declare any variables inside a class outside a method for example if i have a class let us say that i have a class so within a class if you declare any variable within a class for example uh, let me take the variable name as integer a equal to 100 okay so this is called as instance variable it should be within the class but outside the method okay but there are two rules here there are two rules here rule number one is it should be a non static variable you are not supposed to use the static keyword here okay it should be what it should be a non static variable what is a non static variable any variable without static keyword is called as non static variable then what is a static variable same thing okay if i use static integer b equal to 1000 so you can you cannot call this as instance variable because the keyword static is present here so this comes under static variable so when you say non static variable or instance variable it should be a non static variable at the same time the variable should be inside the class and outside the method these are the two rules that you should follow i mean if you want to define a variable as an instance variable first rule is it should be a non static variable second rule is it should be inside the class but outside the method for example if i take any variable inside a method do you think that we can define that variable as instance variable no 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 that is not going to be an instance variable for example 
I have a method inside this method if I have a variable like integer p equal to 100 okay you cannot call this as instance variable why you cannot call this as instant where instance variable because this variable is placed inside a method java method so this is called as a local variable now i hope you're able to uh, get the differentiation between the instance variable static variable and a local variable this is completely local localized this variable is completely local within a method okay this variable this particular variable that we are talking about is an instance variable why it is instance variable you are not using the uh, static keyword firstly static keyword is not used second one is the variable has been declared outside the method inside the class okay so guys do do you have an option to uh, let people inside i mean if anyone is waiting in the lobby do you have any option to give access to them if you have you can grant access do you have any option to uh, give access to sashwant anyone are you getting me i want to know if that if the people are getting uh yeah okay Mab. the people are getting admitted i mean if people are waiting in the lobby anyone can get grant access to them okay now instance variables okay what is the role any variable in java variable in java okay or else i can say i can write it like this in an in a variable is declared outside the method and inside the class without specifying sp c i f s p e c i f i f y specifying the static keyword they are called as instance variables first so this is the rule. second thing is so normally when you run the java code after compilation execution will happen right so we do compilation and we also do the execution okay so these instance variables are uh, recognized and executed before executing the respective class constructor what does it really mean let me go back to the paint screen or else let me write a program okay so we will uh, understand this theory part now the practical implementation is like for example so uh, let me let me take a class a here so i have a class a and i have a class b okay i am declaring an instance variable here so integer a equal to 100 so this variable is called as what this variable is an instance variable okay two so the moment i create an object a o b j equal to new year okay what what the theory says is okay let me add a constructor here okay i am let me add system dot out dot println statement okay yeah okay what the theory says first firstly let us analyze the theory the theory says the instance variables are recognized and executed executed just before executing the respective class constructor okay it says so literally by looking at this code what is the output now from your point of view we have been discussing about the topic of constructors for a long time okay the moment the object has been created okay what do you think the output is going to be the respective constructor is going to be called okay? don't you think that output is going to be a con a con will be displayed in the console right yes or no everyone yes a con will be displayed in the console okay what what theory says theory says it's not the a con that is getting displayed in the console the instance variables are recognized and executed first then after this after this 
the respective constructor call will happen there where uh, where is the proof where is the proof we don't we do, we do not even see that in the console whatever what the things that we are going to see is acon will be printed, printed on the console right let me run this let me uh, remove the respective documents here for our better observation for the better observation so deleting this okay so let me recompile this command prompt okay so changing the directory cd space java 3 okay now uh, before even uh, proceeding with the compilation i need to save this code a okay, file save as the file name should be what b.java it is highly recommended to choose the file name uh, which is of public type okay that's why b.java so java c space hyphen d why hyphen d there is a package here so this uh, directory uh, the package has to be created in the current directory that's why i'm using dot b dot java the compilation is successful java space uh, package name dot file class name acon will be this okay the, we are seeing only acon okay but the theory says before even uh, printing this acon this this variable is recognized and executed but where where it is where is it getting executed and recognized okay let me let me explain you that what is really happening is okay, so this is the pain screen focus here Okay, this is our code okay. the moment i start executing this program the control i mean the main thread will be pointing towards the first instruction of the main method okay this is the first instruction okay so there is a direct construction call there is a direct constructor call right before this constructor call we are already uh, there is a new keyword here new keyword okay so for the new keyword an object will be created for the new keyword object will be created along with the object creation before calling this constructor this object is going to do what this object is going to allocate memory for the instance variable it means the memory will be this instance variable will be this instance variable will be recognized and executed executed means when i say execution it means the value is getting stored in the object in the memory the value is getting stored in the memory so this part is getting recognized and executed okay and uh, it is also getting a reference value in our case it is going to be reference variable usually it will be reference value but for the better observation i'm using it as obj after after doing this part after doing this part then the control goes and finds the respective constructor and this instruction will be executed making sense everyone okay so, sir uh, okay uh, theoretically it sounds good but i want the practical proof if you are looking for the practical proof i can give the proof like this okay. instead of uh, using a equal to 100 the focus here i am calling a method here method one okay here here i am not assigning a value directly instead of a value what i am doing here i am calling a method one okay now focus here uh, integer method one i am i am writing a logic for this method one below this return uh, what is the value that i have just stored 100 right now 100 now we focus this so uh, this is the uh, question that is asked in the certification exam okay focus here okay if the theory is valid so this this is the proof that the theory is valid this is the proof that theory is valid so what is happening here exactly so what is the theory theory that is saying to us the instance variables are recognized and executed just before executing the respective class constructor so let me uh, copy and paste the theory here this is the theory stay focused okay. the instance variables are recognized and executed just before executing the respective class constructor okay. 
so we have a constructor before executing this constructor instance variable will be recognized and executed so what is instance variables that we have integer a equal to method one here i am not assigning a value directly but i am getting that value through this method one i am getting that value through this method one in this case the method one will be called okay this method one is returning the value under yes or no this method one is returning value under of course even if i run this code you don't see anything in the console what i am doing it here i am adding one more i am adding one more changes here in the method one i am using system dot out dot print ln what i am doing here i am writing a statement here to understand that really the control is executing this method or not okay instance variable is executed let me add this line okay, okay the size is already big okay now see I have added only one line uh, method one so this method one is going to print this line as well as it is going to return under so what is really happening inside okay uh, during the running i mean during the execution okay uh, it is a new keyword new keyword will be creating a new object it is going to create a space in the memory space in the memory will be created and along with that okay it is going to assign the value of method one okay assign the value of for instance variables at the moment i say instance variables the instant instance variable is not carrying any direct value indirectly it is calling method one this method one is giving the value under means okay method one will be called indirectly method one is going to get called yes or no method one is going to get called it is giving a call to the method one okay if it is giving the call to the method one my output should be what instance variable is executed then the constructor will be executed this is the proof that the instance variables are recognized and executed before executing the constructor if i directly give the value in the memory level some changes are happening which which is invisible to us but if i do this we can see this execution visibly okay how the execution is happening see let me run this code compilation is successful let me increase the size instance variable is executed a con is executed right this is the proof that this variable is getting executed first before executing before even executing the constructor what is the theory says the instance variables are recognized and executed just before executing the respective class constructor i have one constructor okay here i have what here i have only one constructor this constructor will be executed when it will be executed before executing the instance variables what is instant variable that we have method one okay this method one will be called after completing this execution then the constructor will come into the picture making sense everyone getting confused yes no i want answers from everyone madhu are able to follow just the theory guys very simple theory says theory is saying instance variables are recognized and executed the question could be like this which will be executed first instance variables or constructors instance variables will be recognized and executed executed first then after the constructor respect to class constructor will get executed where is the proof this is how the proof this is how the proof can be drafted to be seen visibly if i directly place thousand here okay it is not possible as to see the proof okay that's why i am calling a method one this method one is indirectly giving returning a value hundred okay so again uh, where is the proof that uh, a is uh, holding the hundred a is holding the method one but uh, you are saying that it is going to hold hundred that is the proof let me do this system dot out dot print ln the moment i call the moment i call the reference variable I mean, uh, moment I call the instance variable with the object reference obj dot a. 
now you see the output firstly instance variable is executed secondly a con okay so this particular line is doing two things one is what instance variable is getting recognized and executed then constructor is getting executed then the control will be transferred to the next line then this instruction is saying uh, access the instance variable of a okay a is carrying what 100 why 100 the method one is returning what value 100 so let me run this compilation is successful See, instance variable is executed a one is executed 100 is executed. if i if i change this to 1000 same thing instance variable will be ex recognized and executed constructor will be executed then the respective ins uh, instance variable they are doing the access to the respective instance variables okay the moment i do this once again let me remove this a o b j 1 equal to new year can you guess the output now you need to guess in such a way that first look at the first instruction first instruction is an object creation okay the moment you think that it is an object creation you need to you need to understand that constructor will be called of course constructor is being called but before even that instance variables will be called okay by looking at this tell me how many times the constructors are called how many times instance variables are called and what is the output very simple question no? think and tell me what my question previously i the object is created for only one time now i am doing the object creation for the second time what is the output now instance variable is executed two and two okay what is the order good chaitanya good you are, you are correct only you are close to the answer what is the order can i say that order is like uh, so on this on the top of the line firstly instance variable is going to get recognized and executed then a con and again second time again we are doing the same thing now the instance variable is going to get executed and again a con output is going to be instance variable is executed a con instance variable is executed a con do you agree with me everyone good 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 everyone agree with me people who are not answering yeah two times it will happen two times it will happen. not one time two times let me run this you will get to know see instance variables again because uh, we are creating object for two times two times object creation means two times constructor will be called at the same time before calling the respective constructor instance variables will be recognized right do you agree with my answer everyone right so if i do if i do the same thing if i repeat the same thing for the second time now the output is going to be three pairs of instance variable is executed and a con right yes or no right? this is all about what instance variables this is the concept of complete picture about instance variables so it will be recognized and executed before executing the respective class constructor right and we can also say that if any variable changes its value value from one instance to another instance it is called as instance variables so this is very simple to be observed for example let me take i have a class uh, let me remove all this okay, let me add this example for you guys okay. now we will understand uh, this removing all this i will attach this notes in the description now so i have a variable like integer a equal to 100 okay i am creating an object a o b j equal to new a now see what i am doing i am doing o b j dot a equal to 200 o b j dot a equal to 2000 o b j system dot out dot print ln so i am printing o b j dot a 
So do you think, uh, can you guess me the output for this first of all? Can you tell me what kind of output that can be anticipate? Question is very simple. Huh? Everyone participate, participate in the comment box. What is output? I run this code, what is output guys? Okay, Krishna Prasad, thank you for your answer. What about others? Only Krishna Prasad is answering. Jodi, yes, good, good, good. Now I am getting mixed response. Good. What about others? Yeah, okay. Thank you for your answers. Let us run this code, okay? So, so this is a parsing error, don't worry. I have missed something here. Um, just closing. Okay. So answer is 2000 we will tell you why it is 2000 and now we are trying to understand this with respect to object and the instances okay now observe now look at the theory for each and every theory i am giving you a lot of explanation it says if any variable is changing its value from one instance to another instance it is called as instance variable okay let me take this theory let me copy it and paste it here now look at this Okay. Any variable is changing its value from one instance is called instance. Say now you see, we know this. A constructor is called before calling the constructor, instance variables will be recognized and executed. Because of that, an object will be created. I mean, uh, a memory space will be allocated in the memory. We don't see this visibly, guys. That's the problem. But these things are happening behind the scenes. Okay. So a equal to under. After this, constructor constructor will be called, and I did not define any constructor, so compiler is going to define its own constructor. Default constructor will be executed inside that. Uh, it is going to be empty. That's why you don't see anything in the console. Okay. After this, what is happening? OPJ dot a equal to two hundred. Okay, we are man doing the manipulation here. Okay. Now, first, so this part is called as what? First instance. Okay, second time what we are doing obj dot a obj dot a is not 100 this time, it is 200 this time. That is the manipulation that we have done. Okay. Now this instance will be this, this will be deleted and a new instance will be created. This time 200. Okay, third time what third line what says obj dot a equal to 2000 says. Okay, so this 200 will be replaced can i say what will be replaced with 2000 fourth time what you are doing we are accessing the instance latest instance recent instance recent value in the object that value is called as what instance obj dot what is obj dot a 2000 so 2000 will be displayed in the console okay now here the difference is each and everything okay each and every manipulation that we have just did okay these are called as what instances what are they this part is called as what instances okay so this is called as what object this uh, i mean this memory is called as what object the manipulation that we did is called as what instances the on, on top of which memory the manipulations are done they are, this is called as object when I say object, object is a fixed memory in the uh, available in the RAM. I mean, object will be created in the RAM area, especially in the heap area. Okay, and the values inside the object when the variable, I mean, the when the variable is getting changed with respect to the object references, we call those variable, you know, we call those changes as instances. This is first instance, second instance, third instance. The because changes are happening the same object. Okay, that's what it says. Any variable it changes value from one instance to another instance, it is called as instance value. Making sense? Everyone yes, no? Here is clear. Come on, keep the session interactive. Okay. Now the fourth point is so fourth point says the instance variables are 
stored in the heap area. What does it really mean heap area? Do you know during the object creation process, I have introduced three memory areas, especially in the JVM. So assume this is a JVM. JVM is going to have three memory areas. One is what? Heap area. Okay, this is what we call it as what? Heap area. Second one is what? Stack. If you think about stack, just think it like a bucket. This is called as stack area. The third one is what? The method area. This is method area. So there are so many areas for the time being. JVM has three memory areas. I mean, it has totally many five memory areas. So for our understanding, so we have method area, we have stack area, okay, and we do have what heap area. Area. Okay, heap area is going to store instance variables in an object. Okay, where the instance variables are stored in the heap area. What is an heap area? Heap area is a kind of memory area that is available in the JVM. Okay. Then what about stack area? In the stack area, local variables will be stored. What are local variables? The variables that are defined inside a method. And what about method area? Method area stores static variables. What is a static variable? When you define a variable with static keyword. Making sense everyone? Yes, no? Make it fast, make it fast. Respond, respond, respond. Respond, respond. Good, good, good. Okay. I can rewrite this in instead of storing the or store in the heap area in the form of inside the objects inside the respective objects. Okay, let me bring this example here. This example two. That's all about instance variables. Okay, the moment I when I say instance variables, you you should uh, you should understand some rules. What are the rules? A variable defined outside the class, inside, I mean, outside the method, inside the class, first rule, and without static keyword. Okay, and they are recognized and executed before executing the respective class constructor. This is the third one. Okay, this is the fourth one. If you answer all this, okay, the interviewer will be satisfied. He will not ask any more questions. Okay, not like that. So, it is uh, if you answer like this, it means that you have a good command in the Java language. Java language. That's it. Okay. Next one is instance methods. We will discuss. Okay. If you understand instance instance variables, instance instance methods are going to be very easy. Okay. And before even understanding, uh, before even proceeding with the uh, instance, uh, I mean instance methods. So let me introduce one more thing in instance variable. For example, I have a class a equal to hundred. Okay. Now you tell me to access this instance variable from outside the class. For example, if I want to access this instance variables within the class, what does it mean? For example, if I have void method one, if I ever add to access this instance variables inside the class, guys, inside the class, okay, when I do system dot out dot print ln yeah object creation is not mandatory okay this instance variable is part of class a we understand that no issues and i have a method defined inside the class a so when you talk about class a this class a has one instance variable and one method to access this instance variable within a class within a within a class object creation is not matter not at all mandatory but to access this instance variable outside the class. So this is the class B. Okay. If I want to access this instance variable, definitely object creation is mandatory. Yes or no? I should create object for A. New A. System dot out dot print element. Okay. So here uh, I need the reference variable along with the instance variable. Okay, for this I don't I don't require that because I can access this directly. Uh, that is the proof. Okay, obj dot method one. I'm calling this method one from the class B. Okay, but 
I can directly access this instance variable within the same class without creating an object. A means A. That would be fine. Don't you think so? Okay. So the conclusion, another conclusion is, let me run this code. See, 100, 100. First 100. This is for first uh, 100. And this is for the second 100. Okay. To access instance variable, I have created an object. Here, I am calling the method, but this method is not depending upon any object to access this variable. Yes or no? Making sense, everyone? Type yes in the chat box. Quick, quick. Keep this session interactive. Okay. Another example. So I can say that. Please be informed that object creation is mandatory to access instance variables from outside the class. Okay, point one. By using the respective class variable reference agree with me so this one and again you can also uh, directly access or else you can also use the this keyword what does it mean for example let us go back to this i have a method either i can use uh, uh, you know system dot order panel a or else i can use System dot out dot printer and this dot it. Okay, both are going to give me the same answer. Right and after. Again, uh, the, this keyword is uh, not a complicated keyword. So after three classes, you will get to know completely about uh, this this keyword. This this keyword you will get to know. Okay, hundred hundred. Okay. Run this. The output is going to be three times hundred. Do you agree with me? Three times hundred. Why three times hundred? First standard is for this, and for this method call, this method is displaying some value in the console for two times. Okay, this is for hundred. This is for hundred. Okay. So the moment I do this, I am getting this. Okay. Let me do like this. Integer a equal to person. Now, can you tell me what is the answer for this? People who are telling this, you know, I can. Uh, Assure you that you are uh, practicing Java every day. Now, can you guess the output for this? I, have, I, I did a small change here. Guess the output for this. What, what guys, you are not guessing, good Chaitanya, at least you are answering first. What about others, Chaitanya is giving answers, what happened to others, first one says 100,000, Jyotian says 100, okay, I am looking for the specific cancer, thank you for your answers, Jyotia says 100, 100, 1000, okay, uh, Krishna Prasad says 100, okay, let's see who is correct, okay, it's not like who is correct, who is wrong, I just want the responses, I am going to teach you. Okay, 100, 100. See what is happening here. We don't have any doubts with this, right? So this is going to be 100 itself, no doubt. Direct call. Okay, direct call. Okay, the moment the method one is called, okay, now the control will come here. So inside the method, inside the method, locally, locally there is a variable. Local variable is there. Local variable is also A. Class level variable is also A. Okay, let me differentiate this. This instance variable, this is local variable. Okay. Now I am trying to access A. A means the preference will be given to the local variable. Yes or no? For example, in our in our house, okay. And uh, see, you have a television in. Uh, let us assume that you have a television in the hall. Okay. And also you have another television in the 
bedroom okay you are in the living room in the hall okay and your parents are asking you to turn on this television you will give preference to the television that is available in the hall right you will because they are not specific you come to know that okay they are asking to turn on the television that is placed inside the hall so they want to be specific they are saying that no no not this television go and turn on the television that is in the bedroom okay, this is talking about the specificity this means access class level and right okay if directly accessing a means first it will look for the variable a in the local in the method if it is not present then it will give preference to the class level okay, if you do not have if you have only one television you get to know okay it is the television that is having in the bedroom has to be turned on making sense why hundred thousand hundred making sense everyone who has answered it who has who has not answered it very simple question isn't it okay samikta was close to the answer okay uh stuff prasad is uh, close to the answer but uh, he said thousand okay. i did not get any correct answer okay no issues uh, good luck better luck next time huh? let me add this Okay, instance variables are over. Now we will discuss about instance methods. This is very simple instance method. So if any method, any Java method without static keyword, any Java method without static keyword is called as instance methods. What is instance method? Any Java method without static keyword is called as what? Instance instance method. Please be informed that the instance method will be recognized and executed at the time of at the time of calling the method until and unless you call the method the method will not get executed you need to call that method okay, instant methods are very stubborn okay they don't uh, get recognized and executed by itself you have to call that method okay but instance variables are not like that they get executed and recognized before calling the constructor call the method or invoke the method by calling its reference by calling it using reference variable okay. let us see this program okay now this is okay now see i am doing a small change here A third one okay now this is uh, going to be a super duper question okay if you are answering it then definitely i'll be so happy let's see who is going to answer this take some time and try to answer this okay so i'm calling okay see super duper super it question <laughs> Some dot out dot until then executed. Okay, return uh, hundred. Okay, some dot out dot until then obj dot let me explain this question okay let me explain this question okay so now uh, the moment i ask you the question you should remember three things in your mind first thing is first thing you need to recognize the variables okay this is the instance variable okay this is a instance method this instance method this, let me add a constructor here 
Okay, I have a constructor. So in, in the respective class A, I will tell you what are the things that I have placed. I have a I have a constructor and I have a method, I have a variable. Instance variable. Okay, of course, an instance method. Okay, instance they are very stop on. You cannot call this method unless uh, you cannot this method will not get recognized and executed automatically. You need to call this. I have a constructor. Okay, I have another class B which has a main method, object creation, okay and a variable code okay. now you tell me the output of this program okay so already answer a con executor 100 what about others do you agree with modu's answer let me keep the screen here okay Answer this to me. Let me use the train screen. You can answer this definitely. Uh, I am going to be very happy. Or else I need to pitch for more, pitch for more concepts. Let me take a new paint screen. Let me separate this uh, class B for the better observation okay come on guys come on everyone everyone at least you got my question everyone a con 100 executed a con 100 executed hey, what about others guys only three people are answering samikta teja veta yes jyoti yes Jyoti and uh, Darshini Nikon. So why Akon under X code Akon under X code. Anyone, anyone left with a different answer, any mixed answer? Akon executed Akon. This is a different answer. Okay, let me run this, guys. Huh? Let me run this. Let me check for if I have any, see any kind of. Uh... Okay. Okay, you will be shocked to see the answer. Compilation is successful. See the answer, guys, and see the answer that you have answered. Okay, I am not happy. <laughs> not happy, guys. I am not happy. I am not happy. I am not happy. Very, very, very. So, see, uh, just, just go through the theory that I have just said. Go through the theory. Theory. Shall we go through the theory? Okay, the moment the uh, see the moment this constructor is called literally what is happening behind the scenes guys firstly an object is for the new keyword an object is going to get created okay this new keyword i mean this memory will be addressed by obj reference variable after this it is going to store the values of what instance variables yes or no what is instance variable that we have for object a? that we have for class a inside class a how many instance variables are there only one instance variable is there what is it a equal to method one a equal to method one so indirectly method one means a equal to okay it will firstly it will call method one method one will be called because assignment operator after the assignment operator so there is it is not a direct value we need to fetch this value by calling the method one this method one is going to return a value okay this method one is going to return. what i said look at the theory for instance variables what is categorically i have said something okay the instance variables are recognized and just before executing the respective class constructor okay the instance variables are recognized okay the method one is called because right hand side we have given method one so method one call is there okay in the method one call first instruction is what yeah okay literally during the assignment initially the value of a is going to be zero itself right over here the value of a is zero because instance variables if you do not assign anything if it is not finding any value literally the value of a is zero right 
After this, the second line is so zero will be present in the console. After this, second line is executed. Executed is present in the console. After this, it is returning hundred. Okay. Now hundred will be stored in the variable a. It means in the memory instead of zero, this is one instance. Okay. Now in the second instance, zero will be replaced with hundred. Yes or no? This will be removed and zero will be replaced hundred. Okay, instance variables are recognized and executed. Nextly, after this constructor will be called. Okay, what is a constructor called? A con. A con is displayed. Okay, after this what? This part is completed. This part is completed. Next line is what? Obj dot a. What is obj dot a? Obj. What is the latest value of a? Hundred. Are you getting this, everyone? Everyone. Oh, yes, you are too late. People who have answered, are you getting this? No, just look at the theory, look at the instance variables. Okay, if there is instance variable, it has to recognize and execute. So, in the instance variables, we are directly calling a method. You need to, so if I don't call this method, no issues. If I don't call this method, okay, if I, if I directly give the value 1000 here, I won't face any issues. Your answers are right. Because a con after a con, what is happening? Oh, be zero here. A con thousand this time. Okay, but here I am not calling. I am not placing the value directly. Indirectly, I am calling a method. This method is giving me a value. What value it is returning? Hundred. The moment I call this method, it is giving me hundred. But look at this method call. This method call is performing two other actions. First action is trying to print the default value because a a a s zero because not yet the value is not yet returned. Because return value is here so initially it will be zero default value will be there so zero will be printed then executed will be printed then the actual value is getting written and stored in the memory a then a con will be called then obj dot a which is which is under making sense right at the moment if i do this now you tell me system dot out dot print ln now this time I am calling obj dot method one. Okay, let me remove let me remove this. Okay, let me remove this as well. Instead of uh, I am assigning value a equal to one thousand, and uh, there are three three entities here. One variable is there, one method is there, one constructor is there. Okay, think and answer me. Okay, object is created. I am calling a method now. Okay, what is the theory says? When there is instance variables, they are recognized and executed just before executing the constructor call. Now we have to see if there is any changes in the memory. If the changes are visible, you will see it in the console. If changes are not visible, these changes will be uh, happening in the memory. Okay, for the methods, what did I just say for the methods? You need to call the method or invoke the method by using it reference. Okay. Now answer this to me. Now I think this is uh, going to be. Answer this, everyone. Participate, participate. I have, I have already uh, posted the answer. Take pen and paper and do. You will get it. Why you will not get it? If you don't have pen and paper, you won't get it. If you imagine you won't get it, need to do the tracing by using pen and paper. You don't do, you don't get it. Come on, come on, answer, guys. Are you working on this or not? Hello, yes, no, are you working on this question? Everyone. A thousand executed here. A thousand executed here. What about others? Jyoti has his answer. Want to copy this.
thousand executed account thousand executed account oh yeah yo yeah yo yeah yo okay okay thank you for your answers This was my question now. Any other answer? Thousand executed, eight hundred. And guys confirm if my voice is audible and screen is visible okay 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 so let us execute this let me see who is correct and who is people are saying what is the answer so the question is same right mm. yeah. this is the question huh? A system dot 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 OPC dot method one okay this third one OPC okay, dot method one the same question no I made some changes because of this editing so the name executed okay so let me run this case thank you for your answers one minute hope you should method one okay this is integer any some uh, okay let me copy this able to copy okay What is the OBJ dot method one? OBJ dot method one. Dot method one. Variable OBJ of type A. The type A only. Integer return A. Why I am getting this error, guys? OPJ dot method. Okay, so this should be method call, right? A con one thousand executed under. Do anyone ask this answer? Okay, now I will explain you. Uh, a con 1000 executed under okay anyone got this answer no one has got this answer answer i guess let us do the tracing together let me separate this 
Okay, now listen, listen, listen once again. Listen, everyone, listen. Stay focused. No one has answered it correctly. Okay, you might be, you might be thinking. They have just said that uh, uh, the uh, instance variables are recognized and executed at the time of. Okay, see, A O B J equal to A. Okay, because of this, memory space is happening, and because of this, what is also happening? What is also happening? O B J will be referred for this respective memory area. Okay, now uh, this part is completed. Along with this, instance variables will be recognized and executed. Executed means executed in the memory. Yet the value is chosen directly getting assigned in the memory. It is not visible to us. Integer a, I mean a equal to thousand. Already I have assigned a value directly here. In the memory, it is getting executed. Means it is recognized and executed in the memory. In the memory level, the value is getting stored. It doesn't mean that it will get displayed in the console. To display in the console, either instead of thousand, I can use method one here. If I do this, if I call method, if I place method one instead of thousand, then method one will be called. So this is an example for us to understand whether it is getting recognized or executed. Value place when I place value directly, it is recognized and executed in the memory. It is it is happening in the memory. It is invisible. After this, constructor call will happen, right? So this is okay. Let me write. Let me do like this. This is part one. Okay, look first one. First thing it is happening. Second thing, constructor has to call. What is the constructor? A con. A con will be displayed in the console. This will be displayed in the console. This display. Okay. Now second. Constructor is called. Okay. After this construct, once the constructor is called, the control has to be uh, like move to the what? Move to the next line. Okay, so a con a con is uh, getting different the console. Next is what happening? O B J dot method one. The control will be transferred to the method one. In the method one, I am displaying what thousand displayed. After this, the control has to go to executed. The executed is displayed in the console. After this, okay, the last line. The last line says. It is returning 100. So this control will carry 100 along with this. Okay. And it will give to the system dot order printer. Okay. Now this android will be displayed in the console. Android will be displayed in the console. Making sense? Everyone? Recognization means there are two types of recognition. Memory recognition, visible recognition. So when I when I make a small change here instead of thousand, when I give method one, when I do method one here, okay. Now what happens? Let me remove all this. Because of this first instruction, because of this object creation, okay, before even calling the constructor, instance variables will be recognized. What is the instance variable? This is the instance variable. So there is no direct value. If it is direct value, it will be placed in the memory. If this is not a direct value. This is a method call. This method call, while calling this method, this will get executed. So this is going to be zero. Okay, and this executed will get executed. Output is going to be executed. Then value hundred will be returned. Okay, now the hundred will be returned here. This hundred will be stored in the memory. It will not be displayed to us. These are the things that will be displayed to us. Why these are the things will be displayed to us? They are given in the system dot order printer line. That's why zero will be displayed to us. Executed will be displayed to us. Do you agree with me or not? Okay, if I run this, don't you think the output is going to be zero and executed? Do you agree with me? 
Eso no. Eso no. El Mirandés. Mi command es wrong. Zero. Okay, a, a con. A con is missing. Of course, of course after this, A con will be zero. Executed. Then A constructor is there. No, this will also get executed. But after executing this, A con will be executed. Right? You practice this, you will get it. This is not a big deal. You practice this, you get it. So I, I want to, for the theory justification, I have given this example. Theory is getting justified. Sometimes you don't see that, you don't recognize that visibly. Why? Because the values will be stored in the memory. You cannot open your system, you cannot open your RAM. Okay, you cannot see that inside, right? So to uh, for the proof, okay, to show it as the proof, instead of the value, I am assigning a method directly, so that you will get to know that this is getting executed first. Uh, before the constructor, this is getting executed first. You are getting to know that. Okay. Now, last now the last topic is instance blocks. So. Let me many examples here. Let me add this example also. The class will be for 10 more minutes. Please stay with me. I need to complete this. You practice this, especially this uh, program, you practice this one. Definitely, you can answer all questions on top of instance variables and instance methods. Now the last question is instance blocks. Very simple. This is very, very simple. If you understand instance variables and instance method, it is very simple. Okay, it says, it is a set of instructions that is placed inside a block. Okay, syntax. Syntax. Syntax is very simple. You have opening parenthesis and you have closing parenthesis. Inside this, you have what instructions? Okay. Now the theory says they are recognized and executed before the constructor. Even this is also getting recognized and executed before even executing the constructors. Of the same class. Okay. It is as powerful as constructors. I will tell you what is it. What is it as powerful as constructors? You can store static variables as well as non static variables. It's very simple, a small program I am taking. Let me remove all this. So I will be having a constructor. I have two classes here, don't you think so? One is uh, one is class A. And I have inside the class A I have a constructor and I have a class B and I have an object creation. Okay. I am placing an instant block here. Any block, okay. If you have opening and closing, if you have a uh, boundary. We have a kind of uh, you know a container. I mean, a opening and closing parenthesis. This is called as a block. Inside this block, I am giving a statement as system dot 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 print and Okay. Now, I am an instance. Block. The theory says. The theory says instance blocks are recognized and executed before executing the constructor. Okay. Having said this, don't you think that if I run this code? Would you think that if I run this code, there is a constructor here. Before executing this constructor, these instance blocks will be the instructions inside the instance block will get executed. Yes or no? Okay. If theory is valid, don't you think that the output is going to be I am an instance block or and a con? Yes, no? Everyone? Good, 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 Chaitan. I appreciate your. Uh... Don't you think so? Let me run this. So I am an instance block A con. Okay, let us say that I have an instance block A. No issue, sir. Okay, what if I have 
two instance blocks so i am saying i am first instance block this is the second instance block okay. i have two instance blocks let's look at the theory what the theory says instance blocks are recognized and executed before executing the constructor okay the control will see this is the constructor the control will go from the top of the class and it will find the instance blocks there are two instance blocks okay these blocks has to get sequence yes or no if i run this code the theory if the theory is correct i'm first instance block i'm second instance block according to the sequence it is getting according to the order it is getting executed okay even i can place this under constructor okay, now what is the output first you need to think instance blocks are recognized and executed before executing the constructor having said that first you will identify the instance blocks there is one instance block sequentially this is top this is uh, uh, after constructor but this is the second in the sequence of instance blocks then constructor what is output now good 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 okay, if people are finding it very hard to type the answers let me do one two three. now you tell me the answer now you type uh, now you type the answer at least what is output now i am first time. one two three one two three correct one two three good if i place this here okay now uh, i am i am creating two objects o b j two equal to new okay. now the answer is two objects are created now tell me the answer everyone participate guys are very very important and you will not get this kind of explanation anywhere i want participation from everyone one two three one two three good 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 one two three one two three okay. so now uh, the before even concluding this let me remove this instance block we remove this also okay now i have an instance block okay i am going to have an instance variable integer a equal to uh, third one okay let me define the logic for the method one okay integer method method one return uh, 100 okay system dot 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 print alarm so here i am saying it to okay, one instance block i have one instance variable i have i have a method and i have a constructor so i am just creating an object for the constructor okay, what is the answer now what is the answer now you want me to send the program okay think and answer me so darshini everyone says one two three one two three uh, one good 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 i think you're getting this one two three do you agree with the darshini and uh uh Tashwant, Jyotiyas, Madhu? good 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 same thing here also it will find the order because if you if you look at this particular program there is an instance block and there is also an instance uh, variable right so both are recognized and executed before even executing the constructor so if that is the case it will find the sequence first the instance block is placed so this will get recognized and executed then a instance method an instance variable then followed by the constructor One two three, good good good. Okay, now the uh, another question is the question could be like this: expense. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, so see we did not discuss much about the inheritance topic, but with respect to the constructors, just try to find the answer for this. With respect to the constructors, so I am calling I am creating a constructor for class B 
object is being created for class B, which means class B constructor will be called at the same time we are using extends keyword, extends A we are using here. Okay, so class A constructor will be called. Think like uh, okay, a compiler is going to place a default constructor, and a default constructor is going to have a super keyword. Super class constructor will be called. But when the super class constructor is called, before calling the super class constructor, it has to cause to call the instance variables and instance uh, blocks of that respective constructor. Okay, analyze all this and try to answer this. This is the latest answer one two three everyone. I am not sure whether it is in latest okay nine ninety na okay, latest answer. Let me run this. One two three good people who don't know just just it is this is a very 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 important. Just listen to this people who aren't who haven't answered. Okay, okay now see. This is the code. By this, uh, the topic of instance uh, context will be completed. You can answer any kind of interview question. Okay. So this is the developer's code. Okay. Every time, even you are thinking it or not, compiler will always come into the picture. Okay. It will find. Okay. If the respective class has any constructor. Okay. This constructor is defined by the developer itself. No issues. But class B. There is a class B, but inside the class B, there is no implicit constructor. Okay, then uh, the compiler is going to place an implicit constructor B. B. Along with this, it will also going to add the super keyword. Okay, and also here super keyword is missing. Compiler will ensure that super keyword is added here as well. Okay, as well as this class A will be extending to the object. You think it or not, you think like this every time. Okay, the moment the constructor B is called. Okay, constructor B. Okay, so the control will be transferred to the constructor B. Before that, instance variables will be recognized. Yet there are no variables, such variables. So directly constructor is getting called. Super. So again, super means respect to extends a a class constructor will be called. Super keyword will be replaced with a class, and the respect to a class constructor will be called. So from here, the control will be jumped to a class constructor. Okay. Again, from here the constructor it is calling super class constructor, object class constructor. So nothing will be there inside the object class constructor, right? So the control will be returned back to the same line, right? So before even calling this constructor, what I have just said, instance, uh, instance. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, before even uh, before even invoking this, instance variables and instance blocks are recognized. Okay, here we have this is one instance block. This will be recognized. One will be printed. Then one instance variable is there. The method one is called. Method one is going to print two. Then the constructor will be recognized and printed. So answer is three. One two three. Any questions, everyone? Yes, no. Okay. The instance context is over. Oh. Any doubts for me? Any questions for me? Any questions for me?